Hello everyone and welcome to Bridge is for Everyone. My name's Jad. This is episode 27 of the Learn to Play series. In this episode, you'll learn how to bid one no trump over your opponent's opening bid of one of a suit. Let's start with a new deal. This is deal 161. East is the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value your hand. You have 17 high card points and zero long points for a total of 17 points. With no short suits, your hand is flat and therefore balanced. And you have only one biddable suit, hearts. East opens the bidding with one spade. It's your turn to bid and you interpret East's bid. You're advised that East's bid shows 13 to 21 points and five or more spades. You apply the rules for overcalling, which you learned in the previous episode. You need a long, strong suit for a suit overcall, but you have no long suits. You have a strong hand and are keen to bid if you can, but what can you bid? Here is the rule. You can overcall one no trump if your hand satisfies two requirements. First, it meets the requirements for an opening bid of one no trump. And second, that it has a stopper in the opponent's suit. The stopper is essential because without it, the opponents will almost certainly lead that suit and could easily win the first five tricks. You apply these rules to your hand. As you know, the requirements for opening one no trump are 15 to 17 high card points and a balanced hand. Your balanced 17 high card point hand meets these requirements. You check your holding in the opponent's spade suit. You have a three card spade suit which includes the ace. This is a stopper. You meet both requirements and overcall the opponent's opening suit bid with a bid of one no trump. West passes. It's partner's turn to bid. Partner will respond to your one no trump overcall as if it were a one no trump opening bid, with one exception. Partner will not ask you to bid the opponent's suit. Partner bids two clubs. And East passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. As you learned in episode 8, partner's bid of two clubs is a stamen response to your one no trump bid. It shows eight or more points and exactly four cards in one of the major suits. But partner cannot suggest bidding the opponent's suit, so you can refine this interpretation. East opened one spade, so partner must be showing you a four-card heart suit. You check for a fit. You add your four hearts to partner's four hearts for a total of eight hearts. So your partnership has a fit in hearts and will want to play a heart contract. You will bid hearts, but at what level? This is partner's suit, so first you revalue your hand. You replace your zero long points with zero dummy points for an unchanged total of 17 points. Next, you add your 17 points to partner's minimum of 8 for a total of 25 points. This is enough for a game bid in a major suit, so you bid 4 hearts. West passes, partner passes, and East passes to end the auction. The contract is 4 hearts by South. 
You have two significant advantages when playing this hand. First, your strong hand will remain hidden from your opponents. And second, you will be playing after East, who holds most of the opponent's strength. We'll explore this second point in a later episode. Now, let's try another deal. This is deal 162. East is the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value your hand. You have 15 high card points and zero long points for a total of 15 points. Your only short suit is a doubleton, so your hand is balanced and you have two biddable suits, diamonds and clubs. East opens the bidding with one heart. It's your turn to bid. You interpret East's bid. You know that East's bid shows 13 to 21 points and five or more hearts. You apply the rules for overcalling. A suit overcall needs a long, strong suit. You have no long suits, so you apply the next rule for overcalling. A no-trump overcall must meet the requirements of a one no-trump opening bid, 15 to 17 high card points and a balanced hand. Your hand meets these requirements. But it also must have a stopper in the opponent's suit. Your three card heart suit headed by the jack is not a stopper, so you cannot bid no-trump. But what can you bid? Here is the rule. With a one no trump opening hand and no stopper in the opponent's suit, you must pass and hope to defeat the opponent's contract. You apply this rule and pass. West also passes and partner passes to end the auction. The contract is one heart by East. You have a good hand and could have a good chance of defeating the contract. Now, let's try another deal. This is deal 163. This time, West is the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value your hand. You have 15 high card points and zero long points for a total of 15 points. You have no short suits, so your hand is flat and therefore balanced. And your only biddable suit is hearts. West opens the bidding with one spade. Partner passes. And East passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret West's opening bid. West's bid shows 13 to 21 points and five or more spades. You apply the first rule for overcalling. You need a long, strong suit for a suit overcall. You do not have a long suit, so you apply the next rule. There are two requirements for overcalling one no trump. You have a balanced hand and 15 high card points, which meets the first requirement, a hand suitable for an opening bid of one no trump you check the second requirement. You need a stopper in the opponent's suit. Your queen of spades, along with two smaller spades, are technically considered a stopper. But this hand is different from the previous hands. This time, the opponent's strong hand is west, which is on your left. This is important because west comes after you in the order of play. As you'll see in future episodes, this makes it much more likely that your opponents will be able to negate your stopper. So what should you do? Here is the rule. An overcall in this position is called an indirect overcall. In this case, I recommend you have a double stopper in the opponent's suit for a one no trump overcall. Your spade suit is definitely not a double stopper. A one no trump bid in this situation would be fraught with danger 
So you pass. Your pass ends the auction. The contract is one spade by West. It will be more difficult for you to defeat the contract this time because of the order of play. Good luck. This episode has covered more of the basics of bridge. It focused on making a one no trump overcall after your opponents open the bidding with one of a suit. In future episodes, I'll cover everything else you'll need to be a confident and successful bridge player. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to this channel. Until next time, this is Jad reminding you that bridge is for everyone.